Hello again! Sorry I wasn't here last week, but you can guess where I've been, can't you? Exactly, I was in London to visit the Kensington Fair. And I tried to go live at the time uh, I normally release my vlog, but unfortunately it didn't work. And that was a shame because I was really looking forward to it. Um, Instead of going live, I did a walkthrough of all the floors. And I must say, I felt a bit strange to be walking around filming. And this was on a Saturday afternoon, which is always a bit more quiet. And as there were rail strikes, a lot of people couldn't make it to the show, unfortunately. And for privacy reasons, I had to cut out quite a bit, as there were children in the video. But I still managed to do some filming. So here we have Catman Dune. Uh, I think I'll have to take pictures because the light is. If people have um, epilepsy, yeah, they might. Yeah, that's not possible. So I'll just do basement. And I did actually buy something from Kathmandu Miniatures and I'll show you what I've bought in my next vlog. Um, and I still can't get it right. I've just shown you the corner. <laughs> And I've got a cheese plant off them as well. Mm. I just did two of Here we have Tobacco and Regrets, which are featured on last year's vlog as well. So go and have a look at that. But I just had to show you this. Uh, now, being Dutch, I immediately recognized this. <laughs> just kidding, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love the contrast between the prim and proper, slightly dated hallway with the pretty wallpaper and the flying ducks on the wall, and then the understairs marijuana growing cupboard. <laughs> it's so much fun. There's the flowers drying on the door. Um, you'd never know it was there. Well, apart from the smell. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, in miniature it doesn't smell. <laughs> but I love this piece, I really do. Would you like to be in the video? Or? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> and what, what is your name? Abby. So, Abby. So, this is Abby from Tobacco and Regrets. <laughs> she makes the most fun and interesting uh, scenes and miniatures. I showed you last year as well. Now, these pieces I featured in last year's vlog in a bit more detail, so as I said before, oh, yeah. <laughs> go and have a look at that. I've got some people who've seen the story before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is the workshop. <laughs> no, you're not in the picture. <laughs> She's hiding. <laughs> and these are lovely turnings by Graham. I'm not wearing my glasses. Graham Parrot. Or Polly. Polly, yeah. <laughs> so, and really nice. I just bought a bunch of things. Oh, tables are nice as well. Let's see. They're quite like that. This would be considered like a Tudor house? Yeah, definitely, yes, yeah. I love it. Let's see the corner. Oh, it opens up as well. <laughs> oh, I love that. And the names are carved in the upper windows. Great. I also like these ends. Not that. With the brickwork. Oh, my hand. <laughs> Beautiful ceilings. Mmm. Love the smell too. That would be the. Is it oak? Seed oil. Ah, it smells great. Yeah. Beautiful. Love it. Brings, brings out the colour. What did you use? Is that oak? It is old English oak. Yeah. That was all Beautiful. machined up and made out of two old fence posts, believe it or not. Oh, fantastic. Good old and English I... oak in short supply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and then it's really good to reuse yeah, yeah. what you've got. Yeah. I always like that. It's a really good idea. Yeah. Love it. Trash. Here's a really modern house. Great modern bath. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought I had a load in my side. Yeah, I'm just doing it. So cool. The Wi-Fi is worse today than it was yesterday. It's just dropping off completely all the time. Yeah. And this is my elf miniatures. Can I just take the one that's out? Yeah. And then you can have this one to go back there. Okay. Yeah. And I don't need. I don't, don't, don't need the box you don't really. Keep I look it in the box. No. Well, for the travel. I haven't got that. Well, yeah, I'll get yeah. the box with you then. Because I don't need to keep the box. I don't want you. I don't. Well, no, I just thought. Hello, Jen. Hello. <laughs> this is Jen from JCI Hi. Miniatures, and she makes. She's a new exhibitor. And she makes lovely, lovely, beautiful 
baskets. And what would you call that? Like woven? Uh, yes, like, well, wicker baskets. Wicker, wicker, wicker work. Wicker work. Although it's not with real wicker, wicker. it's with florist wire and wax linen thread. Yeah. I also make some patchwork, so there's some there's some little bits of patchwork. Oh, that's yours as well. Oh yes. yes. Oh, that one. That's gorgeous. I love that. I like this display as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is made for you as well. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. I bought a few pieces. I'll show you later. <laughs> and there's a lot gone already because she she uh, she did really well. So bye bye. See you again. <laughs> so Anne has some beautiful carved pieces, as you've seen before, because I took her classes. I love this one. That's beautiful. Lovely. But um, arts and crafts? Uh, yes, it's a special ma magical cupboard that somebody's asked me to make. Ooh. And there's a shelf inside. It's not like Narnia, but the back comes open. The shelf comes down and the back opens. Ooh. But it's beautiful. I love I, it. That's my design completely. It's beautiful. And I will be uh, making more. Oh, good, good, good. I think I, the first first class I ever took with with you, I think it was that one. Yeah, that's I usually did. my beginners. Yeah, yeah I did that. That was in Arnhem. That's what we did do yeah. it. For the first it was time. in the um, yes. in the church in Arnhem. Yes, because it shows you how to do relief carving. Yeah, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. It's easy to do. So there's a book on carving. That's how to look after your tools and the best tools. Ooh, interesting. The techniques one is coming when I get time to do it. Hmm. And then there's half scale. See the carving underneath the. Oh, yes, please. Oh. And they're all separate panels joined together. Oh, it's beautiful. And this is one that I've made for somebody in America. And I've also embroidered all the. You did? The, oh. the, the hangings, well not the hangings, she didn't want the, the hangings. The sheets and the yes, pillows. Yes, from, based on something from the V&A. Um. And she and I worked on it together and designed it between us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I just, there's, there's this huge bed in the V&A. They're using it the as a... great bed of wear, yes. Is that the one? It's huge. Yes. And with the panels in the back and they had the bedding as an example of how it was done. I think that's... So interesting. It is. I love, I love the V&A. Yeah, I do They're too. very helpful too. Yeah, yeah. They let me research things. Yeah. They actually let me go and photograph things in their store, yeah. measure them and touch them. I find that museums in general, but the, I know the V&A because I've heard it from other people as well. Yes. They're very kind the, and The helpful. people behind the scenes yeah. love you to go and look at their yeah. things. Yeah. Very kind. And, and the Burrell Museum in Scotland as well. Oh, right. Sent me photographs for the um, this chair. The, this chair. Right. It's not on display in the museum, um, but it's got finials that are like dagger handles. Oh, yeah. And it's quite unusually made. And I was going to go up there and look for it, but they said it wasn't on display, but they went and took photographs of it for me so, so nice. that I could see it. Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I find that. They don't have to do that, but they're so, it's so kind, yeah, because yeah. it takes some time. And, and this, is the, this is the latest one that I might be going to teach, oh. but it's a very complicated one. It, it actually folds. That's beautiful. And you're only teaching in, in the UK now, right? I am, yes. Yeah, it's such a shame for us. <laughs> but only, and only small classes. Yeah. 
and when when do you think that will be? I might do one in the autumn, yes. Oh, good, good. I'll tell everyone. <laughs> Have, they'll have to look at your website. I, do you have it on your website? I, I assume. I do can. have yeah. classes on the website when I've got them. Yes. Right. Good. Yeah. Take them because they, you, you learn so much. Yeah. I also learn a lot from my students. So. You do. <laughs> Yes, greater. Yeah. Greater. I don't know if we're exactly here, but we're, we're here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, fijnige. And deze heeft uh, plastic, I think. Exotisch. Good. So that is for spices, because, you know, they have the, the posh spice boxes. Yeah, yeah. Firework in silver. In silver. Oh, yeah. The kitchen range. Oh, yeah. And the. Uh, Yeah, that one's beautiful too. An iron with a little stand. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. Altijd fijn. Moeten we de raamspuit ook nog demonstreren? De raamspuit. De window cleaner. Het is een pan. Het is een pan. For cleaning the window. So, so they put this in a bucket. Right. I'm out of buckets, unfortunately. Yeah. So, and then you had water and they just... Pump it. The and pump it and the water goes up to the canal house windows. Windows, yeah. Such a clever bunch of people, the Dutch. <laughs> And then you have the coal extinguisher, which is all typical Dutch. Which one? The, the dove pot. Oh, the dove pot. See that? Uh, is it? Nee, no. Niemand kent als ik moet het. Oh. Ja, je bent niet aan het filmen. Ja, ja, ja. Dat is, ja, ja, dat knip je er maar uit. Uh, ik vraag allemaal wat is dat? En dan zijn ze koolskuttel. Nooit zo'n koolskuttel. Het is echt liever. Saving the coals for the next day. Ja, ja, ja. Het is dit one. So this one is a coal, uh, like a coal extinguisher. Coal extinguisher. extinguisher. Um, it is used to, so at the end of the day when you go to bed, you scoop out the coal from the fire that's still lit. You put it in here and then the lid goes on so they, they extinguish. Mm -hmm. uh, it's partly a fire safety thing. And partly because the Dutch are so frugal. <laughs> good they husbandry. Would, good husbandry. They would save on coal. So they could still and use it. It's actually a mix of Dutch and arts and crafts because right. I have the arts and crafts uh, design. Design. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to remind you all that the Pembroke and Nature Awards and all the entries are on display.
clip that Tina's husband Hans sent me and it shows Tina practicing the music you hear while the red shoes are dancing. Elastic. 
And here are Tine Kreine and her husband Hans on the right there, and Valeria Bonomi in the middle with Jens Torp behind her. And they are celebrating with champagne because Tine and Valeria just won the People's Choice Award for their Pima entry, The Dancing Red Shoes. A well deserved win. And this part is like this. This is truly scrumptious, and I love his designs. So many fun things. Very designed, I should say. Jane does um, most of. I do. Well, we we do the design ourselves. Yeah. I make anything um, sort of computer based. Yeah. Because I I do CAD. Yeah. And Jane is the one that makes it work. <laughs> makes it work. You do the painting and the painting, the assembly, yeah. assembly yeah. distressing, right? I'm um, too, uh, too much like this. No, really? <laughs> no, no, not really, I doubt but that. a bit. You know. Well, it's good to work together. Yeah. It's a good, you yeah. know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and so today is Saturday, so a lot has already been sold. Is this it? Oh, I 
There's no colouring on this, it's just its natural shine and with a protective lacquer on right. it. Right. And this is a native? This is native to Western Australia. Right. And, and it's a very, else? very hard wood. Yeah. And it's, yes, very hard wood and only from West Australia. Right. Oh, 
the black ones. <laughs> 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 Yes. How much for the whole Well, they're individual pieces. I did have a box or a bag. Now that I did have that set, I have the set still. Um, but I took the pieces off and asked them to sell them to me. But that one uh, it doesn't have the, uh, the oval pattern. It's just the two pairs. Oh, I came last year and he's having them together. In the box. I think it's one third. Do you want the set? Yeah. How much have you got? Spent it so that haven't got any of them to come next time. Oh, okay. Because you were making the same ones next time. I couldn't do it. I'm going to be here at Christmas. Yeah. Can you give that to mother? That's John. <laughs> That's yeah. Or if you just wanted just a teapot and a cup and saucer, mm -hmm. you know, I've got a cat. Oh, have you? My house is full of cats. Okay. Yeah. And I want, I've got a from last time. Yeah. I thought I'll come back. I couldn't remember how much it was. Do you know what it's called? Okay. Oh. Is that, is that, a ticket card. Yeah. It's a lettuce, 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 lettuce. I absolutely love the death. So that's yours. Yes, yes. The Bobby's Bobby Shoe. Yes, Shoe 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 the lockdown slippers. Yeah. Project. But I suppose Anne, if it's it's how you if if you just say the A L and then you yeah, touch it and you see rather than angle and it separates yeah, you just get the other way. Hello, Jens. Yes, what I'd like to tell you about is my one of my latest pieces and it's the silver tuba um, it's a piece it is quite intricate it's a bit challenging and I really enjoyed making it um, we got a Dutch connection in, uh -huh. the, in the sense that um, my good friend Hans Kreinen plays the tuba and I was invited to come to his house and photograph it and measure it and take details so I was able to make it in 12 scale and this is the final product. So great fun. Okay. Oh, I love those as well. Can I have a look at those, Jens? Yes, of course. What are these? The, they're, the... they're called and irons yeah. or fire dogs. Yeah. And and first time I, I made them, yeah. it was when I was involved in a commission uh, for Ham House. Oh, for Ham House. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. Um, not these, but the, there is another pair. I can show you the the silver gilt version. Yeah. That one is in Ham House. Right. Yeah. So beautiful. I love these. Yeah, yeah, yeah they they're, good. they're quite impressive. Yeah. So I'm on my way back to the hotel from the fair, which was great. I talked to a lot of people and uh, didn't see much at all. But uh, yeah. Are so lovely. I love all the wisteria flowering 
And like I said last year, I wanted to do that in one of my canal houses and I never got around to it. <laughs> but it looks so nice. Look, there's another one. With a wonderful looking balcony. Not that. And another one. So pretty. And the bunting is still up from Charles's coronation. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> I always love these little secret gardens they have. Well, they're not really secret, but they're kind of hidden from the public. And then when you live around here, you are allowed to use them. And they're so lovely. More wisteria. Look how pretty. It's just beautiful. Going all the way up on the side of the house. Love that. I love the colors, the dark and the blue, the purple. Well, that's it for today. I do have some more wonderful things to show you from the Kensington Dolls House Festival, but I'll do that next week when I'll also show you what I've bought. So, thank you for watching. Until next time. <laughs>